Right now, Florida parents are required to keep their children in booster or car seats until they're five years old. Federal guidelines recommended they stay in those seats until they're seven years old. And lawmakers have proposed a compromise to raise Florida's age requirement to six. But as Mike Bazalinda shows us, it's fallen on deaf ears at the U.S. Capitol. Okay. Raising the age from five to six for kids to be in car or booster seats is supported by science. In an accident, all of the, the deceleration goes against the, the strongest parts of the body. The CDC says nearly half of all child audit deaths from ages 8 to 12 were because they were not restrained. The rate falls to 36% for kids 4 to 7. Few oppose the idea publicly. Chair Pasadomo. Yes. But for a decade, raising the age from five to six has languished, even though six is one year less than the federal recommendation. Opponents have argued. Children are their parents' responsibility, and it is the parents' ability to have freedom to do whatever they want with their children. The Senate is already moving to quickly pass this legislation down to the more reluctant House, where it's died in years past. Senator Keith Perry is optimistic talk to the trauma surgeons and trauma doctors and they tell you about how easily this accident uh, injury could have been prevented uh, by having just a $15 booster seat. And Perry says the biggest challenge will be educating parents if the age is raised. It's more to inform the parents, hey, we've done the research, we've done the study, and this is good for you and good for your kid. The sponsor also adds that child restraints are available from private organizations for parents who face financial constraints. Reporting from the state capitol, Mike Vasilinda, Channel 4, the local station. Violating the child seat requirements could land parents a $60 fine plus court costs. The bill would not change that fine. If it becomes law, it'll take effect July the 1st.